It's a fast ship. It's a high-speed rail of the sky, flying at about 80 miles an hour. UK-based company Hybrid Air Vehicles believes it has a solution for climate-conscious travellers of the future, even if it might look like something from the past. It's got a lot of heritage back into airships, there's no doubt about that. It sort of looks like one from some angles. So we've got a little bit of public um, hearts and minds to win over. But the reality is three quarters of it is standard aviation technology. It just comes in a slightly strange shape wrapper. The Airlander 10 is designed for short haul and regional journeys. It's filled with helium, which is more expensive, scarcer and less buoyant than hydrogen, but is also safer as it's not flammable. It's going to be about 300 feet long, longer than a 747, lifts 100 passengers. Getting on board, you're going into a spacious cabin. So there's lots of light coming in. It's quiet. You can open the windows. You can get up and move around the cabin. Every seat's accessible to the aisle, accessible to wheelchairs and people of more limited mobility. This technology would not only mean less noise, less chance of turbulence and unpressurised cabins, HAV also claims the carbon emissions would be 90% lower than the equivalent journey on a conventional aircraft. Some of the early customers that have come to us have said, well, what about putting 16 people on board and taking them on overnight cruises? It gets people to parts of the world that are really hard to get to, and it's done in a way that minimizes the impact on the environment you're going through. The very first airlander aircraft coming off the production line will be going off to do those sort of jobs in places like the Arctic or on safari. It doesn't restrict itself to operating from runways. All it needs is a relatively flat space, and that space can be sand, it can be grass, it can be water. So we can create new connections for people, getting them closer to where they want to get to. Despite some previous setbacks, HAV states it's the only company in the world to have successfully flown this type of aircraft, and is working towards commercial production of the Airlander 10. Our plan is to be delivering at least 24 of these aircraft per year into the market from later this decade. 